Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we have a very special uh, breakdown video for the Last of Us HBO series, the teaser trailer that just dropped today on Outbreak Day, The Last of Us Day, uh, now renamed, uh, rebranded. Uh, so let's get into it. I broke down this trailer. I watched it 20 times. I was screaming. I was yelling. I was hooting and hollering. I was so freaking hyped and I got my life. Now we're going to break it down and we're going to go over it scene by scene, frame by frame, and we're going to talk all about it. And it is good, bitch. So let's get into it. Let's talk all about it. Okay, so we have the opening scene and already in the background we hear Alone and Forsaken by Hank Williams, which what we had originally heard in the Pittsburgh chapter uh, was the song that was playing when Ellie and Joel were in the car. And right when the ambush happens so that's where that song comes from and it is everything it totally fits the vibe of this teaser trailer now the next scene the first scene is Joel in the quarantine zone well I don't know if it's the Boston quarantine zone but it is in a quarantine zone in the game it was a Boston quarantine zone he's walking he sees the firefly symbol on the wall it's being covered up by workers people who are living in the quarantine zone being under the watchful eye of the soldiers who are patrolling the area and looking out for any kind of shenanigans they don't want to see no fireflies they don't want to see no firefly symbols and they don't want any trouble they are under the watchful eye of the soldiers then we get a close-up of joel's watch that sarah given had given to him on the day of his birthday when everything went to hell in a handbasket bitch and he looks very sad it looks like he's thinking about the past it looks like he's thinking about sarah the watch already is giving uh already is telling us everything we need to know about the scene and we see ellie she is looking at uh some graffiti on the wall that says when you're lost in the darkness now we know that is the fireflies motto when you're lost in the darkness look for the light look for the fireflies and she sees that now the next scene we see ellie is chained to the ground by her ankle we know this is the scene from the winter chapter when Ellie is abducted by David, captured by David. She is his new little pet and he is going to chop her up in tiny little pieces. So this is her when she's being captured by David in the winter chapter. David has her imprisoned. Then we see Ellie looking out the window. There's like a welcome sign to the QZ. Uh, I don't know how welcome people are there, but... Um, the sign is there it kind of has given me not very welcome vibes then we see the soldier with the huge spotlight patrolling the area uh now we know this is when they try to escape the quarantine zone with ellie they're trying to get her out of the city they're trying to get us to the firefly now this is the scene in the game where joel ellie and tess are trying to escape the quarantine zone and try and get ellie to the fireflies we're trying to get to the capitol building uh and trying to fulfill our part of the deal with marlene it is treacherous we see them going through the pipe, and that's exactly what we did in the game. Uh, when we're we're trying to evade the soldiers uh, from the QZ who are chasing us, they we have already alerted them that we are loose, and they are chasing after us. And we're trying to evade their lights. We're trying to sneak by unnoticed, and we we see them in the pipes in the scene. Now, at 25 seconds into this trailer, we hear over the Alone and Forsaken music, the original song by love drug salt of the earth by love drug now if you remember back in the day the original last of us launch trailer that is the song that is playing in the background it sounds like chains are banging it's like halfway through that original trailer and that's what we're hearing overlaid over the alone and forsaken song which is such a nice touch oh it's such a nice touch it brings it all back and it sounds stunning haunting this music and is everything this shot of the downtown area with the buildings like leaning on each other falling uh it looks exactly like the game if you showed me this picture i would not have guessed it was a shot from the show i would have guessed it was straight out of the video game it looks stunning the details even when like the lightning is uh strikes with the, the lighting over it you see it first it's dark and then you see it in the light how the buildings are collapsed on each other leaning on each other and that is the building we have to get through once we escape the qz so they they are sticking so heavily to the source material. I am getting my life. I cannot believe it. It looks gorgeous. It looks identical. Now I think we see Bill. Now Nick uh, Nick Offerman plays Bill. When I was so happy to see Bill, that he was included in this trailer. We see Bill. It looks like he's got a surveillance system. Uh, it's like the four TV cameras, and he's looking over it, and it's like a black and white. Uh, you can barely make it out, but it looks like there's people in a cage almost. 
like an above ground cage um, so I don't know if this is he is trapping people or what you just see for a split second it goes in and out of focus so quickly and then it looks like the American flag it's all in black and white covers the screen and then we and then that's the end of that then we see uh, Joel and Ellie in the background and in the foreground we see it looks like a skeleton of an adult and of a small child uh, still in their clothes but just they were just laid there to waste uh, out in the elements and just laying out in the field um, so they have been there a very long time and it even looks like the kid has um, the kids clothing the skeletons clothing looks like it has uh, little rainbows on it it, it might it kind of reminds me that and uh, the other skeleton I don't know if it's male or female but it kind of reminded me of like a whole like a vacation type of shirt maybe they were going on vacation somewhere and they just it, when everything went down and they were caught unaware uh, but we see them we see the devastation we see the death in this frame now we hear the clicker and I had the chills I had the chills during this whole entire I had the chills during this whole entire trailer but we hear the clicker and it looks like the downtown building when we're trying to escape with Joel and Tess and Ellie that's uh, that's what it, it read to me uh, that the building we were in and the the scene where we're with in the game where we're trying to get through the downtown building with the three of them and the first time that Ellie sees the clicker uh, and we have to be quiet and we have to stealth past our way but Ellie looks at Joel she looks scared to death and Joel does a shh oh I got the chills I got the chills then we get the overhead shot in the winter uh, in the winter time the winter chapter I'm assuming the overhead shot of the long bridge going in so we're on our journey we're, we're, we're trying to get to uh, we're trying to get to the firefly lab across the country and we're making our way and this is the long journey ahead so that overhead shot is just stunning and Joel is just walking through an abandoned area we see like just like old cars like disintegrating and decaying away everything in the background I don't know exactly where that part is it could be anywhere honestly on their journey now we see Ellie with tears in her eyes she's crying and she looks at Marlene which um, is who was the original Marlene in the game uh, Merle Dandridge plays Merle in the video game and in the actual show so I'm very happy to see her there now Merle is in bad shape uh, Miss Marlene I mean uh, she's holding her side she is bleeding from the gunshot wounds where we first meet Marlene in the game uh, so she is she can't take Ellie across country but Joel that's why Joel and Tess are going to try and take her across country and then she nods yes and it's just like it's just like it's just so haunting the entire trailer this is the part where Marlene asked Joel and Tess to take Ellie across country to the Fireflies now now we've seen a scene from the Left Behind DLC we see Ellie and we see Riley and they're in the abandoned mall and they're on the carousel that's that whole scene when they're where they're hanging out in the mall and it's abandoned it's just the two of them and they got the carousel to work so that whole scene is from the left behind DLC and Riley and Ellie are together which I knew Riley was gonna be in the game because they announced that she was going to be playing Riley the actress uh, was going to be uh, playing Riley so we knew Riley was gonna be in it but I'm, I'm glad to see it was a happier time in Ellie's life I swear we better hear some jokes from the pun book uh, somewhere in the show I hope we do now we're back on the actual outbreak day with Joel is running with Sarah it looks like there's an 18 wheeler coming there are people laying in the streets there is an infected who just pops the fuck up and people are laying laying in the streets either injured or who are infected like so scary so like I'm literally was clenching the entire time it's oh, it happened so fast like I really tried to slow it down so I could really take a good look at it and it's like hits it right on the note like the editing and the sounds and the music is perfection bitch perfection so he knows the jig is up shit's about to go down they have got to run now we see Joel with the sniper rifle and the only time Joel has a sniper rifle that we've seen him is from the snipers perch in uh, the suburb section of Pittsburgh Tess is running from a ton of soldiers chasing after her now we know this is the Capitol building where we know Tess has been infected um, and she knows she doesn't want to turn into one of the, she tells uh, Joel I will not turn into one of those things so she is going to sacrifice herself because she knows she's going to become infected and or die and she's going to give them a head chance a, a head start okay now the next shot is you see Sarah and Joel 
and you see them looking through a fire. It looks like it's obstructed. I think that's Tommy. I think this is when the car crashes and the car uh, and the cars are on fire. And right after the car accident where Sarah uh, either breaks her leg, her, her, her leg is hurt, she can't walk, Joel has to carry her. So I think that's Tommy, Joel, and, and Sarah as they are trying to escape the chaos, the utter chaos, and, and the infected running amok all in the town. Uh, and I think that's the scene like they're looking at each other like, bitch, we're going to have to run. We're going to have to run, bitch. So that's what I think it is. I think that's Tommy. Bill. Now we see Bill. Uh, officially, we see his face. He is standing over an open pit. Uh, I'm assuming it is uh, Joel in the in the pit. It looks like one of Bill's traps. Now we know Bill uses the 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 bombs, the nail bombs. His weapon of choice is the nail bomb. Uh, but it looks like he has set up a perimeter. Uh, and in case it's probably a trap for infected as well. But he caught himself a Joel, and he wants to make sure he is not infected. Uh, and he's safe. Well, he's safe to be around Bill because Bill is very protective. He is all alone, a one-man show in Bill's town. Now, this is different from how we first meet Bill in the game. As you know from the game, we are, are being under attack by all the infected. Joel is hanging upside down, and Ellie is trying to cut him loose. She cuts him down. He falls down. He's immediately attacked by infected, and Bill literally just slices his head off with a machete, and he says, get your ass up and let's go and come on so he saves him and that's how we meet him in the game but this looks different this looks like how we're meeting him for the first time is going to be we fall fallen to one of his traps perhaps uh to protect himself from the infected or hunters i don't think there's uh he's pretty much alone in town so he's got his eyes on everybody and everything now this scene is probably it's got to be in the before times because there is a it looks like you just see arms uh looks like a man and a woman holding hands you can't see their faces you don't know who it is i'm assuming this is joel's life prior to the outbreak uh they, their clothes look clean and brand new they are not tattered at all they look like they're in perfect condition and it looks like they're at a fancy restaurant the china is looks very expensive bitch and they, the cutlery, the silverware looks very expensive and they are drinking wine. Um, so this could possibly be maybe Joel with a love interest, with maybe with Sarah's mom back in the day, how they met. I don't know. I can't, I hope we get to see Joel's back uh, life from before with maybe, hopefully we'll know anything about Sarah's mom. It's a quick shot before times 100%. Uh, next shot is Joel beating the living shit out of a soldier. It's probably the scene where Ellie is discovered by the soldiers when they're captured, uh, when they first are trying to escape the two soldiers who accost them, and then they do a reading on her, and it says that she is infected, and she knows it's going to say she's infected, but she is immune, so she stabs the soldier in the knee, and then now they have to kill, they have to take out the soldiers, or they're going to get ratted out, and they're going to get caught. So that's what that reminds me of. Uh, that's probably the scene where she is... She's got, she's been clocked. She's been clocked that she is infected, but she is immune and she don't want nobody to know about it. Uh, and they don't want to get caught because they will kill her. So Joel is protecting them. And that, I am assuming that's what that scene is from. The next scene is Ellie crawling on her hands and knees under a table or chairs. It looks like I'm assuming that this is the scene in the steakhouse with David when she's trying to escape David uh, in the winter chapter. That's what it looks like to me. I don't, I mean, like, who knows? It could be her escaping from anyone, anywhere. But that's the vibe that I got. It's probably in the steakhouse when she's uh, fighting David, trying to escape David. Now, as this is going on, you hear Tessa's voiceover, which was gave me the chills. Like, when she was, when she was talking to Joel about what to do, when she was saying this part, I literally got the chills listening to it. It is everything. She says, this is your chance, our best shot. You keep her alive and set everything right. Oh, save as many as you can that comes on later um but that the way she said that gave me the chill so tess is giving her life so that they can have a chance to get to where she's got to go to protect ellie at all costs save as many as you can you said everything right oh my god like tess i i'm gonna cry my eyes out when she goes uh but tess is a real one i oh my god i got the chills the chills now there's this woman i don't know who this woman is um with the dark hair walking she could be in charge of one of the factions there who knows i don't oh do you think guys do you think that this woman that they showed is ellie's mom 
Do you think it's Ellie's mom? The only woman in the story that we don't know what she looks like, who she looks like? Bitch. Or she could just be another firefly that's working with Marlene. She could be at the hospital because the people around her aren't dressed like soldiers, uh, but they're not exactly dressed like pure civilians either. So it could be she's part of the fireflies maybe at the hospital, at St. Mary's Hospital. Who knows? Let me know in the comments if you have any good ideas of who she might be, where she might be from. There are other people in the scene with her as well. Now, we get to see the Humvee of death, bitch. The Humvee of death. Run. Run, bitch. That gave me chills when I saw the, the sign on the... Ugh. Shook. Now, you know, in the game, there is a... There is a dismembered body strapped to the hood of this Humvee but uh, I didn't see that in this trailer and the teaser but I wonder if they're going to have it in the actual show that is yet to be seen but I, didn't, I only saw the run and it was everything and it's from the Pittsburgh chapter with the, one of the longest chapters in the game and then we see Joel, Tommy and Sarah backing up in the car just like the opening scene where when all hell breaks loose and they're backing up like, well, back up. I can't. I can't drive through them, Joel. Uh, when they're trying to in the opening scene and they look behind and you see a huge explosion. Um, it was, it just, it looks like all hell's going to break loose. They are really paying homage to the game 100% to the source materials. And I live. Now there's more fire um, and people running and then people running on fire. <laughs> I mean, it is like, this is where we're trying to run through the town. Joel's town while he's carrying Sarah trying to get yes I have these notes I have like five pages of notes um so he's trying to run through the town and the people are up on the fences they're on fire they're trying to get to them they're trying to attack them it's about to go down then we see the winter chapter they are on horseback it is snow on the ground it's winter time then we see Ellie running with like a smaller child. Uh, there's someone else like that's kind of out of frame. I can't tell who it is. I can't see. But it looks like a small boy she's running with. Then she's running and she's shooting back. She's shooting a gun at whoever she's running from. And she looks terrified. Then you see people just like two people are standing. One person, the woman is sitting. And then kaboom. A huge, I don't know if it's an explosion or just a bomb that goes off. So I don't know if it's just a bomb that goes off or it's just an explosion that's part of Outbreak Day and these people are just like just minding their own business, like waiting for a bus or something because she's sitting down. They don't look infected. They're sitting. Uh, the two, it looks like uh, the other two men are standing and boom, you act, it looks like you see someone's face get blown off. That was terrifying. I don't know if that's from Outbreak Day or if it was just like these are... I don't know. I, I It read to me like Outbreak Day. They just got caught at the wrong place, the wrong time, that big explosion. Then we see Joel carrying Sarah and the terror and the fear in her eyes. And she's like holding on to him for dear life. Terrifying. All right, now we see Tess hiding in the Capitol building from all the soldiers. The soldiers are after her, Joel and Ellie, and she's trying to hold them off. And she looks terrified. Now, I don't know if there's soldiers in this part, uh, but it kind of looks like the Capitol building or if it's just regular people. Maybe we're going to see some of Tess's backstory, but I can't really tell. I think they kind of I don't think they're soldiers. They just look like people who are someone is coming after. Them. But then she's holding uh, something in her hand that's on fire and then she drops it. It looks like she's shaking and she drops it. So maybe this is her setting something on fire to set off an explosion. I don't know. Then we have the car ambush in Pittsburgh. We see this, the car is spinning out of control with Joel and Ellie, and then the baby girl moment. Oh, my heart. When you see Ellie, her face is all messed up. It looks like there's glass splintering her face. Uh, it's it's all, it's like cut. There's a little, she's got a little bleeding from the face, and she looks like she is like not present. Like her mind is so, like she's having PTSD, and Joel is shaking her and shaking her. And then this is the baby girl moment. That's what I think it is. And I, I'm going to cry collapse when that happens on the show. When Ellie, um, I think that's when Ellie kills David in the steakhouse when he's chasing after her. Then Joel finds her and comforts her. He like snaps her out of it. I am not going to be okay when that happens. I'm not going to be okay. Then finally a f we get a full face shot of the clicker and it looks insanely gorgeous and detailed. Um, it even looks like a little like wet and glistening on the this cordyceps infection on the clicker. It looks gorgeous. It looks so good. Then we see Joel and Ellie looking out into the sunset or the sun the sun rising. 
uh, the sunrise, and I think that's the scene where she says, uh, "You can't deny the view." When they when they escape the the buildings, uh, the downtown area, that whole scene where Joel looks down at his watch. She doesn't do it in the in the teaser trailer, but that's the moment I'm thinking that that is after they escape the museum. Then you see Joel and Ellie on horseback. They're starting a long trek across the country together. This is after now they share a horse, Callus horse. I don't know if that's the name of the horse in the show. But when they leave Tommy's, she gets on the back of his horse, they go off together, and they start their journey, and that's where they start heading towards the university in the game. Then we've got the lighting with the title screen, The Last of Us. It just looks so stunning, guys. I did not have time to record uh, my reaction to the video when it came on, but um, I figured I'm just going to do the breakdown of the video frame by frame. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you think I'm on point with these, my projections <laughs> with these points. You think uh, I'm way off base. What did you think of the trailer? Let me know. Let's commiserate. Let's get a little excited for the HBO Last of Us series. I'm so freaking hyped for it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video and my motherfucking shenanigans, please leave a like, share, subscribe, comment. You can also join me on Patreon. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll be back with more.